Markets are starting to question themselves. The bloggers exposing our blisters. Just the everyday words of everyday people are shifting the tone of the televised speeches. And the artists are starting to question themselves. And the poets are speaking like leaders. And the everyday choices of everyday people are facing the storms and curing diseases. Are facing the storms and curing diseases. Are facing the storms and curing diseases. So go Skype an iPod, premix some wages, but don't forget to make a version for the sages. So go Skype an iPod, premix some wages, but don't forget to make a version for the sages. Because when we look beyond our next meal, our next post, we are responsible for our everyday votes. The ones we use to buy our shoes, to buy our homes, to buy our tunes. Yes, I'm talking about our dollars, our euros, our pesos, our yen. Because what if the next 20 years are happening again? What if we've already arrived? And the everyday choices of everyday people are facing the storms and curing diseases. Are facing the storms and curing diseases. Go Skype an iPod, premix some wages, but don't forget to make a version for the sages. So go Skype an iPod, premix some wages, but don't forget to make a version for the sages. What if we've already arrived? 2025, and the doomsday duos, the war and peace heroes, haven't avoided the global cooling, the flu-grown zeros, and the forgotten people. The markets are starting to question themselves, the bloggers exposing our blisters, just the everyday words of everyday people are shifting the tone of the televised speeches. And the artists are starting to question themselves, and the poets are speaking like leaders.